nominee cruises to two more victories in Nebraska and West Virginia. Joining me now is Eric Beach. He's a co-chair of the pro-Trump uh, Great America PAC. The Great America PAC. I wonder where you got that name from, Eric. <laughs> Good evening. It's a mix of terms, Eric. <laughs> Last night, Hillary Clinton Super PAC released this web video. Watch this. She came to my wedding. She ate like a pig. And I mean, seriously, the, the wedding cake was, was, it was like missing in action. Did right. she have a good body? No. Of course. Did she have a fat ass? Absolutely. Well, well, I just don't respect her as a journalist. I have no respect for her. I don't think she's very good. I think she's highly overrated. But when I came out, and, you know, you could see there was blood coming out of her eyes. Uh, blood coming out of her wherever. I see. So you treat women with respect? Uh, I can't say that either. All right. So, Eric, how are you going to counter that? Well, I, I think Donald Trump's policies are how you respect women. I think Donald Trump's policies are how you respect, uh, you know, any uh, minority, anybody in the minorities. I think that, you know, what you have to look at is not his rhetoric, but the policy positions. And I think as us as a Republican Party, we should start respecting women by talking about jobs and, you know, talking about balancing our checkbooks and things of that nature that affect all Americans. I think that's how we respect women and reach out to women and minorities. So no, you don't plan to, not an ad or something like that or a video to, to counter that maybe with Hillary Clinton in her own words? Donald Trump can take care of himself. He certainly can defend himself. I think one of the things that we're going to try to do is, you know, we have over 2 million ardent supporters uh, that have already signed up with us, and, you know, we want to mobilize and energize them. You know, even though he's a multi-billionaire, Donald Trump is still a grassroots and a Tea Party candidate. Uh, you know, we used to ask, you know, last two election cycles, we used to ask the grassroots to come, uh, you know, accept the establishment candidate in the Republican Party. I think this time around, you know, we're going to follow the grassroots a little bit, uh, and we're going to try to merge that together. Did you and say I think we do he's that a Tea Party candidate? Positives. They got a lot of groans from this panel of experts who, when you said Tea well, Party Well, I'm, I'm sure they so. do, right? I'm, I'm sure there's some, some classic folks on your panel. I, I know a few of them as well. I know they do a great Great job, but you know we have to listen to the grassroots and where they are. Uh, Donald Trump, after California, will have more votes than any other presidential candidate in a Republican primary. That needs to be listened to. The people are talking, and we need to listen. So, Eric, up until this point, Trump has said that his campaign is self-funded. How do you think voters are going to react to your super PAC? Are they going to, you know, call Trump a flip-flopper because now he has a, a PAC? Well, I mean. Up to this point, uh, you know, he has talked about himself self-funding, and he also said that in the general election, we're, this is going to be a billion-dollar campaign. Uh, you can't get there uh, in $2,700 increments, which is all you can give to the campaign. But you know, right now, with millions of supporters that have been accumulated through our efforts, you know, we got to do everything we can to mobilize and energize them. You know, the other side, Hillary Clinton's side, or maybe Bernie Sanders' side, who knows? Uh, you know, they're going to have the necessary resources through either unions or other or other types of super PACs. So we need to at least match those efforts. I'm wondering what this is going to mean mean for you. Um, on Thursday, this meeting, it because uh, let me read this tweet first. Uh, Donald Trump tweeted this out. He said, "I look very much forward to meeting with uh, Paul Ryan and the GOP party leadership on Thursday in D.C. Together, we will beat the Dems at all levels." Do you think that these big donors, Eric, are waiting to see what happens with uh, Trump's uh, Thursday meetings? Are you waiting as well? Does this change anything for you, or will it? Well, not 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 really. I mean, in 2012, we lost eight out of nine, you know, of the swing states. Uh, this time around, you know, I think we have a great chance to win in certain states, and I think you're actually going to see this become a wave election. I mean, on the other side, you know, the nom the winner tonight of the Democratic primaries, Bernie Sanders, the energy's with him, but he won't be the nominee. On our side, you know, the energy's with Donald Trump, and I think you're going to see some coattails uh, as, a, as, a, as an effect of his, his being the nominee. All right, Eric Beach, thank you very much. I would watch the TV because these guys here have a lot to say, have a lot of big reaction to what you, what you said, so I would stick around for it. I appreciate it. Uh, lots more Sounds to come good, tonight on the you. primaries. Thank you. We appreciate the uh, reaction from these guys uh, coming up. <laughs> there we go. We'll be right back.